Welcome this month's planning preview uh, for September 4th. Uh, got Jason from the planning department here and just wanted to give uh, what's on our agenda this month. It looks like number one, uh, we've got a rezone from RD1 townhome duplex residential uh, to the office district and the office district to CN conservation. Yeah, this is up there on 34th and Career Avenue. So it's a, it's kind of, it sounds like it's going to a lot of different districts, but really what they're doing is, uh, is rezoning some uh, twin home area to an apartment complex that's kind of adjacent to another apartment complex on the north right along Career. So as you know, up there by University Center and Southeast Tech and stuff, it seems like we're getting a lot more of those apartments for those college kids is yep. because those specific campuses don't have dorms at all really. Yep. So they all kind of stay in the, in the apartments that are, are within a certain distance away. So, yep. And we've got uh, number two, it's a rezone from Ag uh, to the RS single family residential, uh, the R1 twin home duplex residential, suburban, and then the RCD uh, PUD to the live work. That's a lot. <laughs> um, what do we? Yeah, this is, this is kind of another big area that we just a recently annexed in. It's kind of east of Veterans Parkway and then yep. west of like uh, Pine Lake Hills subdivision oh, yeah. out yeah. there. So they're starting to do a, another little single family subdivision. And then as you start getting towards uh, Veterans Parkway, um, you start getting some of that live work and those office and apartment uses. So okay. it has kind of that good transition. So that area's so. starting to go to. Yes, yes, just kind of west of Mystic Creek. They've kind of done a bunch of developments out there. And west of the Willow Run Golf Course has kind of been doing lots of houses out there. So. That connection to the interstate, I think, is going to really make yes. that whole area start popping. I think we'll see a lot more up there. Absolutely. Um, then we've got number three, a rezone from RR, single family residential or residential rural district to the RS single family residential suburban district, uh, 7201 West 57th Street. Yeah, this is kind of way out west on 57th Street. So this one's kind of interesting. It's actually an existing smaller church on this large lot and it's owned rural residential, which actually doesn't allow a church or place of worship. Okay. So they're rezoning to RS single family, which allows a church, and they're actually going to redevelop the existing one, uh, tear it down, and build a larger church and parking lot out there. Okay. So the use won't change; it's just trying to get the zoning correct um, to allow them to redevelop and build a bigger church. So, okay. Uh, number four, rezone from uh, I one Light Industrial District to, uh, to CN Conservation District, located south of East Fifty Seventh Street. Yeah, this is just actually just west of Franklin Motors. Uh, they're yeah. looking at building kind of a little mini warehousing uh, or uh, development out there. It'll be just once Highway 100 comes mm -hmm. through, it'll be just east of that. Um, and then as they're doing their development plans, obviously they found their area where the detention goes. So now they're coming back and just zoning that area as conservation okay. for the detention area as part of the whole development. So I see that happen a lot. Yes. Um, number five, con or conditional use permit for on-sale alcohol beverage establishment located within 500 feet of a sensitive area uh, located at 1312 West 12th Street. Is this Bob's yep, Cafe? Th yep, this is Bob's. This is a holdover that we had from, I think, two months. We've had a holdover now, and uh, the applicant is, is continuing to try and address some of the neighbor's concerns out there with um, kind of the buffering behind um, the old Bob's Cafe. Um, so we're continuing to work through that process and hopefully uh, by the time this goes to planning commission on the 4th that uh, maybe we can come sort of to some sort of compromise with the neighborhood and and the Bob's old Bob's uh, cafe to do uh, do a use in there so yeah you know, there was a lot of <coughs> discussion there in last yes. last meeting and yep. you know thanks to all the people that showed up I mean there was good yeah. input so yeah these are just difficult ones and you know that mm -hmm. it's Difficult with the neighborhood, and it's also difficult with the uh, owner of, of the business just because it's such a small business, so there's not a lot of not reuse much. that you can do there. And if you tear it down, you really can't get much back in there because you can't meet buffer yards. And so it's, it's, a, it's, a, different, if it's, it's a very difficult one. So yep, hopefully we can continue to work through it and, and see if we can come to a compromise. So we'll see. Uh, let's see here. we got number six, uh, conditional use permit for accessory alcohol within 100 feet of a sensitive land use uh, and extended store hours located at 1801 South Waltz Avenue. Yeah, this is just south of USF's campus. So if you've seen that little old laundromat that was on the corner of yeah. Waltz there, 
So uh, an applicant, what he wants to do is actually turn that into a little pizza place, a oh, little cool. pizzeria, which I think would be kind of good next to uh, the, the campus there next to USF. And he's looking at, at trying to do accessory alcohol, just have a couple of beer taps in there so you can get a beer with your pizza. And then, as we know, in that zoning district, you're only allowed to, uh, your hours of operation are only allowed to go till 10 during the week and 11 on weekends. So the applicant's trying to, to, to go and do that public hearing to actually get it up to midnight on the, during the week and the weekends to get some of the um, crowd from the, from the college that want to have a, get to have a late night little snack over there. So I think it'd be kind of a good reuse of that building. And I believe they're having a neighborhood meeting this week. So hopefully yep. uh, they can kind of discuss their business model with those existing homes there. And I think it might be a good little fit with the neighborhood. So Okay, cool. Uh, we've got number seven, a conditional use permit for a casino and C store uh, with alcohol beverage establishment located within 500 feet of a sensitive area located at 5503 North Cliff Avenue. This one is also a holdover from a couple yep. months we've had this one. Yep, yep, the applicant here, this is this is just west of Cliff, north of Interstate 90, that old gas station. Uh, the ap applicant's continuing to work through a site design and trying to provide that buffer yard and that um, area to, uh, to, to those single family houses to the west and north that we're trying to look for. Um, I think we're getting him on the right track and then we just need to get to have a neighborhood meeting. He needs to have a neighborhood meeting up there to kind of give their business model and, and show them, hey, look, I can provide the buffer yard for my use to the existing residential uses to the west and north. So. Okay. okay. Yep. And then number eight, conditional use permit uh, for required parking within 200 feet for use located at 1201 South 7th Avenue. Yeah, this is another uh, holdover. This is the one that uh, John Cook's looking to do uh, one more unit into uh, the Avera house there. And then he's going to get a couple of parking spaces. Avera's agreed to lease him a couple of parking spaces on their main campus just to the east of this, just across the street. So, Yep. Uh, number nine, uh, preliminary subdivision plan for Cloverleaf Business Park Edition located east of North Marion Road and South I-90. Yep, another holdover, just continuing to work through some of the elements of a preliminary subdivision plan, street layout, and that stuff that we need to uh, coordinate before we can actually have a public hearing and a vote okay. on it. So okay. hopefully I think this one will, will be going this month. So Okay. Yep. Um, number 10, preliminary subdivision plan for Ackerson Edition, located south of East 85th and east of South Minnesota Avenue. Yeah, this is another holdover that we had. We're continuing to work through some of their elements also. Okay. So we'll see where this one lands when we when we get to the meeting on September 4th. So. Okay. Uh, number 11, a preliminary subdivision plan for Mystic Heights at Fossfields located at east or east of Veteran Parkway and northwest of East Twin Pine Drive. Yep, yep. This is the preliminary plan that would go with number one that we, or excuse me, number two that we discussed. Just east of Veterans Parkway and west of uh, Pine, or not Pine, Pine Meadows uh, subdivision out there. So it's just a preliminary plan that we like to go with the rezoning to kind of show street layouts and, and all that stuff. So cool. <clears throat> um, then we've got number 12, a preliminary subdivision plan for Twin Towers second edition located between East 3rd Street and East 5th Street between, is it Shaney Avenue? Shawnee Avenue. Or yeah. Shawnee? and North Twin Tower Circle. Yeah, so this is just kind of northwest of 6th and Bonson. So if I believe Friesen's kind of had used this large area as kind of their construction dumping site. It's been there forever. Okay. So now they're actually, I believe, finished with it. So they're gonna do another couple rows of single family on there and then have a de detention area between them. So okay. the rest of that area will be built out then. And then we've got, uh, looks like number 13, a preliminary subdivision plan for grasslands development located at the northwest corner of West 34th Street North in North Career Avenue. Yep, and this is the preliminary plan that went with number one rezoning where they're, um, looks like they're doing a lot. What they're really doing is just moving some uh, land around to, to do another apartment complex up there by the University Center in, in Southeast okay. Tech. So, okay. Yep. Cool. That whole area is also growing just because yeah. of the school going there. Yep, absolutely. Uh, then we've got number 14, 15, and 16. Uh, looks like their initial development plans for um, Sanford Sports Complex and then the Sanford main campus and then the Vera South Campus. Um, yep, these pretty much the same thing for 
all three of those yep. it looks like. Yep, absolutely. These are the these three requests are for different areas or different campuses that that Avera and Sanford own, but they're all for um, for their master sign plans. Okay. So you know, Sanford Sports Complex has grown pretty big, so we want to get a master sign plan on file and approved by the planning commission so then when they come in with some of these signs specifically like great shots will be the yeah. next big one uh, we can make sure that it fits in with their entire development but also then gives them a little bit of flexibility um, um, against like our, our strict zoning ordinance so it gives them a little bit more flexibility to be able to put some directional signs and things out there so okay. Really trying to get all those on file so we, we can move forward and, and really look at the signage for this thing as a whole. So, okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, we'll be right back with Sam from the planning department to uh, talk about the planning academy that's coming up. The City of Sioux Falls has an easy way for you to help your community. Simply download the City of Sioux Falls mobile app. The app can be used to ask a question or to report a variety of nuisances like potholes, graffiti, street lights not working, abandoned vehicles, and more. You can even upload a photo with your report. Every report is immediately routed to the appropriate team so they can quickly respond. In addition to tracking your reports, the app allows you to view reports submitted by other users and learn when they've been resolved. Go to the App Store or Google Play Stores and download the City of Sioux Falls app today. Welcome back to this month's planning preview. We've got Sam from the planning department. Um, he's here to talk about the Citizens Planning Academy. Right. I know we've had that, what, a couple times now? Yeah, we've done it twice. This is the third year that we've done it. Um, you know, it's been a great program. We've had a lot of interest. We're expecting more interest this year. Um, last couple of years, we've had, you know, 30 to 40 people that have been, uh, that have attended the, the event. We have two different sessions. Um, you know, it's been a, a you know, a great, um, a great event to kind of get the word out about what planning is all about here in Sioux Falls. So what, what would a person, if they were to sign up, what would they learn? So we do, a, you know, a number of different things. That first session that we have, like I said, we have two sessions. Um, the first session, we kind of go through the basics. We talk about the comprehensive plan. We talk about zoning, what it is and what it's about, what it's about in Sioux Falls. We talked about, you know, some of the history of planning in Sioux Falls and around the nation and, and some of kind of the legal basics, um, you know, and those kind of things it just give people an idea what, what planning basically does. And then we also give them a chance to, to talk to us, do a little bit of case study, you know, kind of get everybody to talk a little bit about, you know, what they think is important and, and find out more through that process. You know, a lot of people, there's a couple people I know that went through it, they loved it. Like they didn't know really anything of why, you know, certain zonings go against mm -hmm. roads. They always see apartment complexes or retail or mm -hmm. uh, that type of stuff against the road. And they always wondered why housing was a little farther back. And, right. You know, once I think people understand yeah. what our city has set up, it, it, it works. Yeah. Uh, and just understanding is a big, a big thing. And this class, mm -hmm. our academy helps with that. So. Right. You know, and it, that's exactly right. We want people to understand what it is. We don't want to feel like we're not accessible for those kind of things. Um, you know, and a, and a big part of this is now that people know, um, you know, who we are, who the faces are. 
um, we feel like that gives us an opportunity that they'll come back. Uh, yep. They'll tell their, their neighbors, hey, yeah, we can talk to these people. It's uh, an important uh, uh, thing for us to look at too. Yeah, so when is it? So uh, we always look at in October. So the first session is uh, October 7th and the second session is October 28th. So those are both Mondays and it's from 5.30 to 7.30 uh, for both sessions. And, uh, um, and so it's located at City Center, uh, the new uh, City Hall, um, uh, and uh, just on first floor and people um, can apply um, by going to siouxfalls.org slash Planning Academy, and uh, um, uh, the applications will be available starting on September 4th, and will be open through September 20th. Okay. And how many people can it hold? Uh, usually, we can go up to about 40. Okay. Sure. And we'd expect somewhere between 30 and 40 okay. for the session. Yeah. Cool. So there's plenty of spots, and um, but it fills up fairly quickly too. Yeah. No, I know last year I think it filled up right away, if yep. I remember right. It did. It, it did come up pretty quickly. We had a few people that did drop out. So even if you didn't, you don't get in right away, sometimes uh, some people, there might be, you know, some, some, some spaces that might open up eventually. Okay. Anything else you want to tell us about it? I no, I just want to make sure that uh, people know about it and that they're, you know, if they've got any questions, they can certainly, um, you know, contact us too to find out more about it. Um, you know, we're going to be doing some sessions um, talking about this with city council. We'll try to get the word out to the, the media, but this is just another place to do that. And, um, and hopefully uh, people will sign up. Yeah. Well, thanks, Sam. Well, that wraps up your, our planning preview for September 4th. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.